rut row this little tag team video. That means there's really gonna be some shit flying. If you notice anything about the internet, there's a lot of fanboys and stuff. And sometimes being a, a fan, a, a total fan geek or something can be cool. Like I'm an X Men fanatic, but yeah, I don't run around shouting. Iron Man sucks. Down with Downey. You know, I mean, I like the Iron Man movie. I thought it was really good. And hell, I don't even dislike DC. I like uh, Batman Begins. And well, I like Batman Begins. <laughs> DC really hasn't done a whole lot with their movies. A animated movies, they have. But, you know, I I, I don't, I mean, because people are like, well, Michael, you're a Nintendo fan. Yeah, but I've enjoyed some really good games on the Xbox 360, like Ninja Gaiden 2. I thought Two Human was very underrated. I enjoyed Elder Scroll 4, not uh, Skyrim, very overrated, but it wasn't because it was on Xbox. I was just very disappointed because I really liked Elder Scroll. Uh, I liked Fable. I thought that was a very good game. I'm just not a fan of Call of Duty. I don't care. Everybody's like, Call of Duty coming to the Wii U. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, there's millions of gamers that love it, and if that's your ideal of a good time, then that is great. But I don't like this fanatical fanboyism that I've been seeing when I've popped up on Wii U videos. They'll always come there. You know, I mean, because I, you know, I met one really nice guy now who was an Xbox fan who when I commented, he said, damn it, he said, I'm, he said, I'm so bad, sorry that Ninja Gaiden 3, our, our version sucked. I said, well, now you know how us Nintendo fans felt when the third party would just give us a shitty version, and then the Microsoft and Sony would get the better version of the game. Mm -hmm. And he said, true, he said, I am glad Nintendo got the better version this time. He said, I'm just, he said, I just wish my machine would have got a good version too, and I kind of felt bad for him. See, it's that kind of response mm -hmm. where I go, you know, I, I, not all Microsoft fans are bad. But then you hear the ones who call you names and stuff and <clears throat> insult your family and, I mean, do worse. I'll just say that. <clears throat> just like, uh, ah, another example. Roger Ebert. Now, I uh, used to watch all the time Siskel and Ebert. Uh, and when Gene Siskel died, I have to say I was sad because I grew up watching those two. And to see people, and everybody's like, well, what happened? If anybody remembers when... Uh, a star from the show Jackass died. Roger tweeted, "Friends don't let jackasses drink and drive." Uh, that was a you know a reference to the show. And now it's like I hope he died. I hate his fat ugly. His fat. It gets cancer. His wife died, and I'm just sitting there like, what in the hell? And I'm just like, I hate to say this, but anybody who does drink and drive is an idiot. I'm sorry. The man killed himself. I really am sorry, you know, I'm sorry to say, you know, because I've ran into a bunch of these sock accounts, man, who just keep insulting the heck out of me. You think your petty little insults are going to phase me? Nothing. But that's the point, see. These people want to shut the truth up. Yeah. So they can't do it with facts because they have no facts, mm -hmm. so they do it with hate and fear mongering. I mean, it's like the, the, the fanboys of libertarianism, of yeah. uh, the... the Austrian economics, uh, music, yeah, music fanboys, yeah, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is, right? I mean, I mean the, the latest example that actually made headlines The Dark Knight Rises got panned by a critic, inspires death threats on Rotten Tomatoes. When it first came to posting first reviews of The Dark Knight Rises on the uh, aggregation site Rotten Tomatoes, editor in chief Matt At uh, Atiki. Uh, said he and his staff were prepared for the worst. I knew full well that when the first negative review came in, our, the reviewer would get pasted in the comments, and he wrote in a statement. Erky said his staff decided to temporarily disable comments from Rotten Tomatoes after the Dark Knight Rises page after death threats directed at a reviewer who panned the much-anticipated film were made. Get a life! Here's one for you. I hate Christopher Nolan Batman movies, except for Batman. I actually kind of like Batman Begins. I did. And it was. I'll, I'll give you a better one. Heath Ledger sucked as the Joker. He did. I'm sorry. He that was his worst performance he ever it did. It was. I mean, they just. It was. Heath Ledger was not the Joker. I mean, I liked Heath Ledger. So for everybody, mm -hmm. they, you know, one guy wrote me on a comment section. How dare you insult? You know, like you just because you don't like Heath Ledger. I love Heath Ledger. Yeah, he was uh, great in Monster Monsters Ball. Ball and the Imaginarian of Dr. Parnassium. Yeah, that was a great When movie. Heath Ledger got a good movie, even like the first night, I wasn't a huge fan of the movie, but I liked Heath Ledger yeah. in that movie. Yeah. I have been a big fan of his yeah. 
-hmm. You know, Hugh Jackman is probably my favorite modern day actor. But the fact is, Heath Ledger was in the top five. I really liked Heath Ledger, so I was actually excited when he got cast as the Joker. When I saw the movie, my heart just sank. You know, so I don't want to hear it from all you haters, because I did not hate Heath Ledger. I liked him. And I went on to read the article, and it said that a lot of uh, Batman fans were mad because Rotten Tomatoes, an overall score, the Avengers got a, got a higher, higher score yeah. than Batman. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Rises. Big whoop. I mean, so what? The Avengers got a higher review than Batman. And one of the worst case scenarios, and you know, this this really goes to show you about fanboyism and patrioticism uh, and uh, patriotism, excuse me, in this country, is uh, remember the Dixie Chicks? Yeah. Who said they were ashamed of Bush? Yeah. And what happened? The country uh, music community uh, gave them death threats and stuff. But Hank Williams Jr. and Ted Nugent, Ted yeah. Nugent threatened to kill Obama. Yeah. And uh, Hank Williams Jr. hates the president, uh, called him uh, un -American. un American, compared him to Hitler. But that's okay. That's just yeah. his opinion, right? What about the Dixie Chicks who said they were only ashamed of Bush? Wow! There isn't a hint of racism in there. Is yeah. There? Yeah. So, you know, honestly, Lisa Schwartzbaum did a, a, a good story. Uh, uh, it says, The Dark Knight Rises. Critics, who cares what they think? You know, talking about this, you know, why do, why do people care about other people's opinions? Right. Well, I mean, who cares? As long, you know what, folks? I like a lot of uh, critic-like movies, like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they've got you know, good reviews. The Avengers, Avatar. Avatar. Um, Terminator. But I tell you what, folks, you're talking to a trauma fan here. Yeah. <laughs> and with the rare exception of Roger Ebert, you know, and I'm a big Lucille Fulci fan, yep. the critics, majority, even Roger Ebert, and them hated Lucille Fulci. I don't care. Right. That's their opinion. It is. It's their opinion and what they think. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Yep. So, I seriously. Mean, yeah. It's so many of these people who are fanboys say freedom of speech, freedom of speech. Yet, you're going against freedom of speech by inducing fear to keep people from speaking their minds. Oh, uh, another one of the worst cases is the Ron, Ron Paul fanboys. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the MRA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Men's Right Association. And you dare put down, which. In my video of the MRA, I even said there were good reasons for the MRA to exist. That wasn't good enough. I had to the audacity to insult them. So 500 stock accounts came and uh, some thumbs down my video. Big whoop. I didn't quit doing videos, did I? And I know I won't quit doing videos on the MRA. I still think they're uh, bad for men. I do want a men's right uh, organization, just not them. And, you know, and the Ron Paul fans, oh, my God, when... Uh, when I did a video about my fiance going missing, you know, I uh, said that I hope she was dead and I should join her. I'm just sitting there like, what in the hell is wrong with you people? Like, and you know, to me, to me, it's amazing. With all the murder, the disease, uh, and all the tragedy that goes on in this world, what are these people concerned about the most? You gave the Dark Knight one point lower than the Avengers. You think Ron Paul wouldn't be a good president. <laughs> you go on a I want you to die spree? Seriously, you folks have no lives. No, get one. None. You have no lives. Who cares if the Nintendo Wii U was number one again? Who yeah. cares? I mean, there's a good possibility of that. Yeah. A good possibility it won't be. Yeah, who cares? You know, a changing marketplace. I mean, who knows what'll happen? Yeah, and I honestly doubt Batman, uh, uh, right, whatever, Dark Knight Rises, it's not going to make more money than the Avengers. No. Not this late in the summer. I, I just don't think it will. So what? You yeah. like the movie. Right. That's all I that mean, matters. you know, like, I'm a huge Tassanoko vs. Capcom fan on the Nintendo Wii, but yet it don't sell like Call of Duty, and I would much rather play Tassanoko vs. Capcom. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I mean, you know, Call of Duty sells 16 million copies worldwide every year. I mean, you know, like I said, I yes, I admit I am a fanboy of some things like socialism and 
uh, Johnny Cash and mm. Nintendo and stuff. It's okay. I'm not sitting here saying it's not okay to be a fanboy. What I'm saying is don't be a jackass about it. Yeah. Like I said, if Roger Ebert would have said something like, oh, that guy died, it's funny, ha, 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 or something yeah. like that. But he just said, friends don't let friends, jackasses, drive, drink, and drive. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, could Roger have said something better? Yeah. But you could, guys could have just said, shame on you, Mr. Ebert, we didn't like what you say. Yeah. Instead of saying things that what he said seem pale you know nobody's perfect everybody makes a slip of the tongue but like I said I'm saying it that guy for drinking and driving was an idiot because when you drink and drive you're putting other people's lives at danger and it's not like he didn't know any better yeah this isn't like the, the 1800s early 1900s where people were like well beer just caused it to get a little drunk nothing to happen bam you know no this is the 21st century this guy knew when he got behind the wheel, drunk, no. that he could have hurt somebody. No. I mean, yeah, he got killed, and that's sad. But what if he had, uh, I mean, done something worse? What I mean, you know, ugh. No. What if he'd have hit a woman crossing the street with a baby carriage? Yeah. What about that? So, get a life. Yeah. I mean, you Xbox fans who sl spout homophobic slurs. Or you Xbox fans and PlayStation 3 and fans, PlayStation no, 3 fans who uh, spout these uh, homophobic slurs and everything at Nintendo fans and call them this and that, you know, and act like they're for kids and everything when there's Elmo and Teletubbies and everything on those on the Xbox and PlayStation as yeah. well. Yeah. And on Nintendo, they got the, the glorious version of Ninja Gaiden, yeah. and we have Metroid and Zelda and you know we have and Mario hardcore. Uh, for uh, the Xbox censored. Conquers bad first. Yes, they did. Nintendo let the bad language fly. Yep. And and uh, Microsoft censored it. Yeah. yeah. So again, if you don't like Nintendo because you don't like their games, fine. That's all you need to say. There doesn't need to be every children. No. I'm not a kid. No. I'm a big kid at heart, but you know, again, that's okay. I mean, you know, Mario's not for kids. He's more of an adult game than what Grand Theft Auto is. I mean, very mature, beating up a hooker and taking, a, you know, taking a police car. Very mature gameplay. Yeah. But, I, I mean, you know, for people to do this over a movie, video games, music, yeah, whatever, whatever, it's pathetic. There's so yeah. much more in the world to worry about. We have people suffering and dying because they don't have health care or because they're getting shot or because of wars or because yeah. of this or that. We have more important things. Everybody's like, well, you care about movies and stuff, but I don't go so to the point of obsession to where I want to hurt somebody. Okay? Yeah. You want them to die. Yeah. Everybody can. If you want to watch The Dark Knight Rises, yeah. I don't know. I mean, the previews so far don't really look impressive to me. Oh. And of course, the Christopher Nolan fans are like, how do you know it till you see the movie? Bane looks like a boar, okay? And Hathaway Dark doesn't. Night light. Yeah, but Anne Hathaway or doesn't Dark look very. Light, yeah, Anne Hathaway doesn't look very appealing as a Catwoman. Oh. I might, I might probably watch it, but the fact is, I'll probably fall asleep halfway through it, which is what happened with The Dark Knight. I'm sorry, that was just an awful movie. It was. It was terrible. I want my two hours and thirty minutes back. Oh. And he went to the dollar version and seen it, folks. And I think Michael got gypped. Yeah. I saw Wally, the, the Wally, I should have went and saw that movie. But see, again, that's just an opinion that I have. But I wonder how many people watching this video are going to be like, Ooh, I'm yeah, really mad at him. I want to hurt him. And I'm like, yeah. over what? Yeah. Over me saying a movie sucks? Yeah. Get a life. Yeah. If you want to love that movie and watch it a hundred times, then go fire up your Blu-ray or DVD player and watch it again. I can't stop you from doing that. Like I said, there are people that think Avatar sucks. And I'm like, yeah... That's your opinion. I love it. So, in the end, just calm the hell down, will you people? Seriously. There's no need to... I mean, you know, I get upset, but I get upset over things like people dying over not having health care and stuff. I, I lost a father because of that, basically, that reason, okay? Well, not that he had, but he didn't... Uh, his health insurance wouldn't pay, you wouldn't know. Wouldn't cover a lot of the stuff that he needed. Right. So, there's an actual le a legitimate reason for me getting angry over this stuff. And watching people suffer and lose their homes and everything all because they get paid a jip wage, okay? So there's a difference between that than somebody getting on there like, Ooh, I'm going to hurt you because you put down the dark night. Seriously. No. It's or not going to shut us up. No. Everybody has the right to their opinion. 
no matter if you think it's right. I have disagreed with Roger Ebert, but yet I continue to follow him on Twitter. I've talked to him on Twitter a couple times, you know, and uh, Richard Rover and them. I, I like, well, why do you read credit reviews? Sometimes I like to know what is a good Oscar-like movie if I want to watch one, you know. And even their reviews on big summer movie blockbusters, I'm like, okay, let me see what they think. What's well, good about Richard it? Richard Roper will uh, announce, some critics announce, like a little hidden gem, like uh, we need to talk about Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, would go unnoticed. Yeah. So, you know, so, that's kind of reason. Like I said, I don't agree with Richard Roper all the time. All right, but I would never want to see him get hurt or anything. No. No. Or his family. No. Or his loved ones. No. no. I wish everything. You know, I, like I said, I even feel bad that that guy from Jackass died. I do. But I'm just saying that he shouldn't have been drinking and driving. He wasn't really very smart for doing that. But anyway, that's what we think of fanboys. Really, guys and girls. Uh, Grow up. Get a life. Yeah.